Mr. Venuna, a warm regard here at Basel World 214, and um, it's a pleasure talking about Victorino Swiss Army story. It's a pleasure and honor to welcome you. Thank you very much for your for your interest. Victorian Knox Swiss Army history dates back to 25 years. It's uh, quite a young brand in the Swiss watch industry. It coincides as well with 130 years of the Victorian Knox brand. So that means Victorian Knox was producing knives since 105 years, and knives and watches since 25 years. Um, according to Victorinox Swiss Army Watches Division, how would you describe the character of Victorinox uh, Swiss Watch? Um, actually, somehow uh, has also military origin. That's right. Uh, the Swiss Army knife was historically used for military purpose. It, become, it became a popular item a few years later. So it's a heritage that our brand uh, has. Um, military engineering has a lot to do with quality, has a lot to do with functionality because in an operation mode your life depends on these attributes and the Swiss Army knife stands for quality and functionality so for us it's a source of inspiration but it's a big challenge because it puts us in a situation where we have to explore the territory of quality and functionality beyond boundaries in order to demonstrate what does it take for a Swiss watch be a Victorian Knox Swiss Army watch? And the answer to this question is a new quality standard for an ultimate functionality. What we mean with an ultimate functionality, we mean a timepiece that would work under any circumstance. You mentioned you're celebrating this year a 25th anniversary. Congratulations. Um, what is maybe uh, this year novelty dedicated to your celebration? The novelty of this year is called Inox. It pays tribute to the industrial know-how of our company with um, a tradition of manufacturing stainless steel since many decades. But what's particular about this watch, it's a watch that finally explains why Victoria Inox produces timepieces. It's a timepiece that sets a new quality standard in the watch industry. The Swiss watch industry is known for quality and functionality. So for us, it was important to come up with a new standard, somehow to go beyond the standard, beyond the norm that exists. So this timepiece is a timepiece that obviously goes through all the quality tests that the Swiss watch industry performs, as well as some military homologation tests. But we did not stop there. We went even further. Um, we figured out a number of tests <coughs> that could simulate very extreme conditions um, and in order to do that we even had to perform this test in-house because there was absolutely no homologation lab that was equipped to perform this test. For instance, this watch would stand two hours in a washing machine at 90 degrees. This watch would stand a 10 meter drop test. This watch would resist one minute in the fire. This watch would resist in an ice cube for several hours. It would resist temperature shock from minus 100 to plus 70 degrees Celsius. And then we thought, okay, all this is very fine, but we need to really have the ultimate quality statement. And the ultimate quality statement, we, we found it once we engineered the watch in a way that it can stand the pressure of a military tank that has 64 ton. So you take a military tank, you drive over the watch, and the watch would still be in this condition. Congratulations for such a splendid watch, sophisticated product. Uh, and what's the price? I wanted to ask you the price if you have a guess. Um, we are talking about 495 Swiss francs, which is putting the value for money ratio beyond the norm of the industry. So it's, it's a watch that took us two years of engineering to make sure that um, we meet this ultimate quality standard and actually outperform what already exists today in the, in the industry uh, in terms of uh, reliability. You also produce watches for women, but less ladies' watches. Uh, what is the situ situation here with these watches and maybe also in the market? Um, to which ladies these watches are intended to? 
Um, we are addressing a female audience that um, has an active lifestyle. Uh, active lifestyle is not something which is reserved to gentlemen. Um, women since many decades are uh, not only uh, present in a domestic environment, um, they are as well having, they are as well traveling, they are as well having sport activities, professional activities and um, our timepieces are meant to be suitable um, for all these different activities. Uh, Victorinox timepiece division has a worldwide distribution. Uh, how would you describe the demand in the different markets? Uh, for example, I'm sure there are different co uh, consumers' preferences, for example, in Asia, US, or even in Europe. That's correct, there are preferences. What's important for us is that the brand experience the consumers make uh, throughout the different regions of the globe is the same. Um, the preferences are what they are, the trends are what they are, they change every year, but ultimately the brand promise must be kept everywhere the same. Mm -hmm. Mr. Gnuna, finally we are at Basel World. can you share with us maybe some feelings about the event? It's a very hectic one, it's a very intense one, I think we have no time um, to get bored. Um, it's a fantastic moment because it's a moment where we can meet all our partners from the entire world and uh, share with them what our plans for the year are. And uh, it's very, very motivating because it's a moment that we expect during the entire year. And it's a kind of moment of truth when we show the new collection and what we've been working upon since so many months. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Merci beaucoup, for this uh, nice conversation. Really wishing you all the best and splendid celebration of uh, your anniversary. Thank you for your visit. Thank you so much.